All right, welcome back, young scholars. I hope that you had a wonderful week off, enjoyed some quality family time, ate some good food, and were able to relax a little bit. Even though this year, I'm sure Thanksgiving looked a little bit different than usual, uh, I, I hope that you were able to enjoy it. I certainly did. Ate tons of turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, gravy, pie. Oh my, I packed on a few pounds over that break, so I'm happy about that. But it's time to get back down to business. Ladies and gentlemen, young scholars, three weeks left. And this week, we're getting right back into it with some good stuff. Lots of learning going on this week. So I've, I'm here in Schoology, clicked on our folder for week seven, unit three. Just a reminder, we're taking a look at is boredom good for you? Making claims of value. What are some things in your life or in our world or society that you think are either more valuable or less valuable than people might normally think? So we've got our calendar for the week. This week is going to look like a ton of assignments, but it's really not. So let me go through them for you. Very exciting reading in Outliers this week. Chapter 8. Yes, we have skipped a few chapters, to be quite honest. We don't have enough time for you to read this whole book, although I encourage you to read the whole thing yourself. Go over those chapters that we have skipped. But we are fast-forwarding a little bit to the second half of the book. First half, Gladwell took a look at opportunity and opportunity's role in success. In the second half of the book, we're going to take a look at what Gladwell calls legacy, family legacy, cultural legacies, and how those impact success. Very exciting. Chapter eight is called Rice, Rice Patties and Math tests. You've got your pre-reading questions. You've got your reading comprehension questions. No writing this week for outliers, but I will tell you that this chapter attempts to answer the question, why are students from Asian countries, China, Japan, South Korea, etc., why are they so good at math? An intriguing question. I'm curious what you think about your answer and also about what Gladwell has to say. In our unit work this week, Is Boredom Good For You? You are going to be reading three separate texts. The first one is an infographic. So not a ton to read. You're looking at an infographic and you're going to be completing a soapstone related to that infographic. You'll remember soaps, soapstones from history and previous years, but looking at the speaker, the occasion, the audience, the purpose and the tone of that piece, completing a bit of analysis. You're also going to reflect on your learning in activity 3.6. Remember, we're learning how to learn. Activity 3.7 gives you our second text of the week. It's called Embrace Boredom to Be More Creative. I will guide you and a partner, feel free to work with a partner there, on a soapstone related to that activity. Then you'll be unpacking some sentences. Feel free to work with a partner or a small group, but remember your, uh, your work should be in your own words. Activity 3.8 is going to guide you through that soapstone again. Activity 3.9 leads you through some annotations and, and some questioning of the text. Activity 3.10, text number three. I love this piece. It's an excerpt from a very famous nonfiction work titled, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Have you ever wanted to go on a motorcycle ride through the country? Because this piece is going to give you a sense of what that might be like. Then, once again, doing a little analysis. So, 
breaking it down this week, three texts, reading them all, breaking them down, analyzing the rhetorical structure, little review of rhetoric and what that is will be coming out in video later today. So exciting stuff related to our is boredom good for you. And then as I mentioned before we left for our week long break, that in this unit, I am going to be challenging you. And so in the third for folder, which is called, man, struggling a little bit this morning, pardon me. The third folder is the Bored and Brilliant Challenge. In this folder, you'll find a text for each day of the week and a reflection assignment. In each text, I'm going to be challenging you related to your phone, related to your technology. For example, today's challenge, Monday's challenge, is for you to put your phone away in those in-between times, when you're walking from room to room, when you're driving around or riding in the car. Uh, if, if you were a trolley or bus rider, I would encourage you to put it away during that. But oftentimes I find that when we move from place to place, we tend to have our cell phone in our hand. And so today I challenge you, put it away, put it in your pocket, put it in your bag. Don't even take it with you. Put it away in your room and leave it there for a little while. More instructions in the video and the text, but each day different challenge and then a reflection at the end of the day and then a bigger reflection at the end of the week. These daily challenges, one per day, are optional. You do not have to do them. Obviously, I encourage you to do them. I wouldn't post them otherwise. But just to let you know, they're optional. You don't have to do them. Some of us have jobs, etc. They're not going to allow you to do it through the whole day. Do what you can. Uh, I will be grading your reflections, entering them. But if you choose not to do this part of the week's assignments, it will not hurt your grade. I think you'll enjoy it. Students last quarter really got a lot out of the assignments for this week, out of the day-to-day -day challenges. I hope that you will too. I will be doing the challenges with you and I will be posting little daily update videos, how they go, uh, and giving you further instructions throughout the week. Welcome back, young scholars. Looking forward to seeing you either in person or in our office hours tomorrow, Tuesday, 1 p.m., online students only. Be there or be square. Young scholars, have a glorious Monday. I will see you all very soon.